Hey, Vike, so last In today's show, we have a social media update. Asking you Hi, I'm Gage. And I'm Emma, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The local chapter of Quails Unlimited donated some funds to buy fishing licenses for the members of the fishing club. They have enough to open it to anyone in the, in the school. If you already bought your one-year fishing license, bring it to Mr. Wilson and N8 to be reimbursed. The FAFSA helps students and parents find a way to pay for college. A workshop will be held on Wednesday the 16th on the Washburn University campus. Make sure to bring your computer. SHS Cedar and FFA will host hot holidays on October 23rd at the SHS Trail. The kids' trails from 4 to 6 and cost $5, and the adult trails from 7 to 10 and cost $6. $1 off of admission with canned food donation. The Thirst Project Water Relay is this Saturday. Events and games begin at 4.30. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on... Saturday, October 12th, from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there. chest for? This chest is for trick-or-treat so kids can eat. You can donate your food that is non-perishable. The cow with the most donations by the end of the month gets an ice cream party. Sponsored by International Thespian Society. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Ever since that cold front rolled in yesterday afternoon, our temperatures have been dropping like a rock. And for those of you who are out supporting the football game at Topeka West last night, I'm proud of you because it was very, very cold. And even into this morning, Wind chills in the upper 20s, but now let's see if this cold weather is continuing with a live report outside with our weather reporters. Thanks, Josh. We are currently outside getting you the best weather report you can have. <laughs> it's currently 39 degrees. <laughs> it's a bit nippy out, just so you know. That's all we got. Back to you, Josh. <laughs> All right, thanks for that. And as you can see, the cold weather is continuing for the rest of the today with wind chills maybe reaching the lower 40s. But tonight, it gets even colder. A freeze warning is in effect starting at 11 p.m. and continuing through 9 a.m. tomorrow as we're expecting low temperatures in the lower 30s. Get ready. Saturday is going to start very cold. But the good news is that with plenty of sunshine for your Saturday, we will warm up very quickly. Check this out by 10 o'clock, already up to 50 degrees and then highs later in the afternoon in the low to mid 60s. So it's going to be it's going to be feeling nice outside by Saturday afternoon and early evening. That's setting us up for the walk for water night, which will feature temperatures in the mid 60s falling to the mid 50s throughout the event. Make sure you come out and support at 430 the Thirst Project. Then as a weekend as a whole, you can see we do have a three day weekend. So we are looking at sunny skies all three days and highs in the 60s. It's going to be a great weekend coming up. Enjoy the extra day off. Here's your seven day forecast. You can see morning frost tomorrow, but then 
we look to have a nice stretch of weather. Wednesday is the only day throughout the next seven days other than today that will have highs below 60 degrees and plenty of sunshine to go around. In the longer range, it looks like our temperatures will get back above average and more precipitation is on the way between October 18th and October 24th. Now, Gage and Emma, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We'll leave you with a social media update on the new schedule. Have a great weekend. Hey, Vikes. So last week we put on our Snapchat a YOLO asking you if you like the new schedule, and we got some pretty different responses. One person said that they liked it because we don't have the same classes every day. And somebody else said that they hate it because our CLP isn't as long as it used to be. And then we had a few funny responses from semen graduates saying that they were in college. Make sure you follow us on Snapchat and Instagram to stay updated and to send in possible story requests.